tell G. Long time me haven't seen you. Oh, you look nice. Have you just been temple? Namaste, Cheryl. Hanji. Namaste, tell G. Oh. Lord, can you believe it? Mm? Snow last April, huh? and then we have the heat wave, huh? and then the alley cat wind. Mm? This mm. world confuses me my day by mm. day. They talk about global warming, but me gas bill still gone up. Mm. Tell me about it. Mm. Hey, what do you call it when the queen farts? Mm. British gas! <laughs> 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 Where did you catch that joke from? My little rat. It's a good one, isn't it? I've been sorting it for you all summer. No. Huh? Raj. Raj, I think I'm back scratcher. He tell you that. And he's only just a nine, bless him. Oh, bright boy. Mm. He went and told the gas man as well. No. Bless, bless. Sanji, so, I can't be glad enough to see the back of last winter. First, our boiler broke. Mm -hmm. Then we had a gas leak. Mm -hmm. Our electricity bill was through the roof mm -hmm. because the heat in was plugged in day and night. And then Amandeep fell ill in November, so oh we had to take her no. to hospital a few times. So she's been staying with us in Margie, so we can keep an eye on them both. So between my classes, cooking, cleaning, family, weather, I'd say it's been a long year. Mm -hmm. Amandeep, huh? your daughter in law, huh? she's sick. Johnny. That's not good, is it? Nee. Not good at all. I mean, she's only a young scrapper girl still. Huh. Yeah, no, me hope it's nothing serious. Funny. Mm. 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 Hey, though. Mm. You did real fine, you know, Delji, when you catch that Margie mm. as your mother in law. Oh, a fine woman huh. she is. With a good family. And there's a lot to be said for that still. <laughs> My mother in law. Huh? Rise like a fuck. And when she come cussing after her husband. <laughs> <laughs> I say that because we have done heard her before we saw her. <laughs> like a hurricane she was. Huh? Whipping round them corners. <laughs> Mm. She was a strong, fierce, loyal woman mm. too. And she loved my children, her grandchildren. Aww. She raised them like she the own. Mm. She, hey, she loved them like cook food straight down to that white bone. <laughs> I totally agree. Margie is so much more than my mother-in-law. She is my mentor and my best friend. I wouldn't be able to cope or teach without her. Sachi, truly I've been blessed with the family I have. They are my wealth and little Raj loves her so much. The family I have known for generations. I have known them since I was a little girl in Punjab. So I've known Amandeep since she was a baby. Margie was the first to introduce my mother and I to the practice of yoga. And look at us now. We never thought then we'd be able to make a living out of it. Back in Punjab, it is something only the wealthy women can do. But here, it is for everybody, mm. and I like that. And look at us now. Uh, I mean, how long has it been? Ten, ten, ten years, years old. old! Ten years of hanging out the washing, mm. pegging out our differences, putting the worlds to rights. <laughs> if only life was that simple. True mm. say. Um. True say, Delgin, I know life can get so busy, it can overtake us at times. Mm. Mm. And I know you got a good family and you do all your downward dog yoga stuff. <laughs> but we neighbours. Uh -huh. mm. And there's always a cup of tea at mine should you need it. And how and many we years we've been saying that? that? Mm. Well, you know, it's always good to know the office still on the table. Huh? Anyway. Huh? I got something to make you smile. A cha? Oh. Cheryl, you are a diva! What are you doing with an iPhone 7? <gasps> and a rose pink one too? Goodness, it's the same one as Amandeep since she's only 25. Cheryl, are you having a midlife crisis? Mm -hmm. Fancy you, trendsetter. Le 
That's a bit um what is your word? Boasty. No judge. Nice. No. Now it would be boasty if I'd bought it for myself. Uh -huh. But I want to bought it for myself, would I? No, my daughter did buy it for me for a Christmas uh -huh. present for looking after my grandson. Uh -huh. Ah, look at him. Look at him. Oh, he's got the look of you. Double of yours. Oh, look at that smile. Is he walking yet? Hi, uh, Ruben. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. He took his first steps at 11 and half months oh. old. And you can't stop him now. I said to my daughter, I said, uh, he's going to be a sprinter, that one. Uh, she said she'd rather him be a scientist. How would that take you? Mm -hmm. But like a bolt of lightning, it is. <laughs> it's my little pride and joy. Yes, my little part. Oh, light of my life. <laughs> Be careful, huh? you know. Mm -hmm. These little things here, huh? they're like little miracles. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. This whole army numbers. Huh? Mm -hmm. It can tell me the gossip before I even leave me front door. And Facebook is amazing. It's opened me up to a whole new life. Now you are sounding just like Amandeep. She's always staring at the screen, laughing at the phone. Please, Cheryl. Please tell me you don't take selfies. Seriously, Del Jeans? Huh? You can learn enough stuff on these iPhones. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. This one's cheaper than my pay and go. Achha. It recognizes my voice. And can even tell me how much is in my bank. <laughs> Fancy that. Fancy that. Del Jeans. Huh? My daughter did say it was not busty, hmm? it was progressive. She says, you're never too old to learn. Hmm. Well, they do say it's all in the genes. What's in the genes? Your youthful looks, of course. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> <laughs> I've always been told I got hmm. good genes. Hmm. I got good hair too. Mm -hmm. huh? I get it from my mother. But me man be foot now. I get that from me father. Talking of jeans. No, Dalji, seriously. Oh, yeah. My foot no good. But yeah, not good either. But that's a different story. Well, let me tell you this before I forget. There is a young girl, a student she is. And she's been coming to my yoga class for the past two years. Anyway, one day she stayed behind to ask me for some advice about her movement. And we got talking like, like we, we do. do. Huh? Such a lovely girl. She reminds me of my Amandeep. You know, if I had a daughter like her, I would be so proud. You know, she's studying genetics and DNA. What a combination, huh? Mm. Mm. Well, you know, it sounds just like my Gracie. Huh? An accountant to boot. Mm. You know, my mother and grandmother's hard work has been paid off by her progress mm. at least. Mm. <laughs> Mind you, if a teacher had come and told me that, or if I'd gone to a teacher and said I wanted to study genetics, I would have got my hand wrapped off by a cane for being too forward and boasty. Mm. Anyway, what were you saying, sir? Ah, uh -huh. well, the night before was when we had to rush home and deep to hospital. It was so frightening, she couldn't catch her breath. So Margie stayed at home to look after Raj and I was waiting all night for my husband to call from the hospital. So I'd arrive late to teach my yoga class. So when this young girl asked if everything was okay, the monsoon came out of my eyes. Hi, I roll like a pain. No. Night visits to hospital are never good for the nerves. No. They're never good. Somehow, that afternoon, I found myself telling this young girl all about Dumb and Deep. We've been so worried about her. At first, we thought it was the asthma and that her inhalers were not working. But then they said it was not the asthma, that it is something heart related. Which is so puzzling. She lives a healthy life, eats well and does her yoga. My husband's been so worried about his family. Poor Margie is beside herself with worry. Margie. Uh, She's such a fine woman, mm -hmm. isn't she? I mean, how old is she now? She don't look a day over 60, mind you. Neither do I. That's because you're not. She'll be turning 67 next month. 
It is funny though. I've always known Amity to have an inhaler. I've just never seen her use it in front of me. Till November that is. And that's when we had to take her to the hospital. When the doctor asked for her medical history, it was only then that Margie mentioned she thought her mother may have had heart problems. She must have blocked it out and she didn't tell us till now. My husband was so shocked. He didn't know. Both his grandparents died before he was born, you see. So it is not something he really spoke about with them. So we aren't yet sure if it is something genetic or something completely different. Cheryl, I couldn't believe it when I started crying in front of this young girl. But very chungi sigi. She even went to the cafe and bought me a cup of green tea. And then she sat me down and started telling me about genomes. And this genomes project she's been involved in, it is fascinating. She said how it might be something that could help with Amandeep's diagnosis. I left yoga feeling more positive and hopeful than I had in months. I hadn't even known the stress I was feeling until she told me about the possibility of having Amandeep's genomes tested. It's amazing what you learn when you open up to people, the kindness of strangers. Genomes? Mm. Genomes testing? Yeah. Mm, sounds like something you're putting a garden, if you ask me. <laughs> <laughs> Mind you, it could sound like government, our medicine, our politics, I mean, natural stats, not at all. No, mm. Cheryl, it's not like that. It's a breakthrough in science. In medicine, something that can help us all. Help us all. Huh? Help us all. Huh? <laughs> Lord God, help and protect you. If you have to go to any government I... trickery, bala trickery for help, because they nah help we no sir. Mm? You're going with one illness, you'll come out with five more. You'll spend two weeks. Trying to get an appointment, then you come out seven minutes later with a prescription. And let's hope you don't get side effects, because you're going to get my tablets for that too. Mm. Do you know how many of my community go into hospital and never come back out? Mm. Seems to me, medicine is made by white people. For white people. I mean, how come my Caribbean people are dying younger and quicker. Can they tell us that? Hmm? Just breathe, Cheryl. Achha? Just breathe. Chalo. Om. Om. Let's think about what your daughter was telling you about progression. Let's think about how your new iPhone 7 connects you to the rest of the world. You're just a call away. A genomes test enables your doctor to have a correct 100% reading of you, preventing more pills, more side effects and most importantly, wrong diagnosis. Now let me explain. Genomes is about our genes and DNA. Genomes is a complete set of genes or genetic material present in any living cell slash life form. Well, that's the first time we become a life form. Mm. But for Amandeep, this is no joke. Mm. This is something that could put an end to her fear and suffering. She's a bright 25-year-old girl with the whole world at her feet. Too afraid to go too far in case she starts feeling dizzy and out of breath. So you see, genomes is like a complete map of our bodies. It's like the blueprint of who we are. It is not the one page like fingerprint or DNA, but the whole book, which is good because it's a unique reading of you. It contains vital and correct information about our likelihood of developing certain cancers or heart problems, which is why it came up in the first place. Why what did come up? The genomes conversation, of course. She suggested I have almond deep tested. Why are you thinking about it? Huh? So wait. Huh? You're telling me that these gnomes... Genomes, Cheryl. <laughs> They're called genomes, Acha. That's what me did say. Mm. You're telling me that these genomes huh? hold the whole book of we, hold huh? the whole of our information, that we should just give ourselves away on a plate? Nah, sir. 
You know, it's bad enough that they have us watched with them satellites and CCTV cameras that are never on when you really need it. Mm. Funny that, mm. funny that. First they come for the cover of the book, so to speak. Not satisfied, then they come back and now they want the whole of we book. Cheryl, you just complained about never getting the right diagnosis. But with what I have read and researched about genomes testing, you can find the problem before the problem has even started. Better still, before passing it on to an unborn child. Now you can't tell me that's not brilliant, huh? Which is why, Cheryl, I was so interested. Maybe we can have Vamandeep's genomes tested. Because something is not right. And how long do we have? Kravnu Sara Kushpata. I've been talking with my husband about it and we are going to the doctors tomorrow morning. We've booked a double appointment. A double appointment? Huh? A double appointment? Huh? What? You can't do that? What? You just ring up and ask for a double appointment? Huh? Lord God, why didn't nobody tell me about that? My husband was a bit unsure at first. Even Margie was uneasy about the sound of it. Well, me can't say me shock. So I made him look up the Genomes Project with me on the internet. So we did it together. Mm. But first, I made him his favorite meal. Mm, how you do cook good? <laughs> He's been so worried about his family. So I thought it was only right to handle this situation diplomatically. I made sure Raj was asleep so we couldn't be disturbed. And you know, I couldn't believe some of the information about genomes testing. Amandeep is definitely on the list for possible testing, just with her symptoms alone. So will this testing become compulsory then? Mm. I mean, will they start separating the weak from the strong? No, sir. Sounds like my discrimination, if you ask me. I mean, how do we know, how do we really know that they're not trying to make a new super race? Mm. Or maybe they're trying to make a new super virus that could come kill us off. Hey, it been done before and mm. times like thee then, just like times like these. Mm. What, we Trump are made in power? Mm. I mean, I trust that. No, no, I mean, they could be making a genetic bomb. Me want to put nothing past them. Nothing. Nothing at all. But haven't you ever had a blood test? Haven't you ever had a sample of tissue taken? Haven't we all? Mm -hmm. I had my yearly checkup done last week. Achoo. And they took my blood then. Uh -huh. And you know that Sheila from uh -huh. Coffee Morning. It's as she talk about her biopsy. <laughs> Who's had what? Do you come from where? Well, I tell you what, it's enough to put me off dunking me biscuits. Well, it's a really simple test like that. At the moment, the genomes testing is only being offered for certain cancers, heart problems, and other kinds of rare illnesses. But one day, it will be available to all. Cheryl, could you imagine the suffering that could be prevented? I, I think of my friend's child born with cystic fibrosis. She finds it too hard to cope. But with the genomes test, that could have been known before. And what if this testing could help my Yamandeep? What if her illness is genetic? That could affect our family. And what if this testing could not only enable us to look after her better, but could also give us the information so we could better protect ourselves and any future family as well. Protect? Uh. Protect? Uh. Deljeet. Uh. My mother worked all her life in the NHS. Uh. Yeah. She was proud of her job and her uniform. Mm. Mm, worked hard to get where she was. Mm. Made it to Matron, she did, yes. St. James's Hospital. I can still see the pride in me daddy's face when he told the boys at Domino's. Mm. But us kids, oh. well, we never got to see me pa, mother. Mm -mm. Not with the night shifts, the overtime and the split shifts she put, she, they put her on. Oh. Mm. My father sent for my mother back in 1948. 
you know. Mm. And they were proud to be part of the Windrush generation. No, sorry, let me correct myself. Was invited over here as a British citizen. Mm. She never stopped telling me how England was the motherland mm. and about how our uncles had died fighting alongside the RAF, fighting to kill off the Nazi. Mm. And how we should feel privileged to live in Britain. Mm. And how not to bow when they called us coons and monkeys and spat at us and laughed after our hair, our skin, our accents and told us to go back on our banana boats. Oh. No, sir. Not me, mammy. She was a kind of glass half full kind of lady. <laughs> she would tell us when in Rome, do us the Romans. But me never did get that one, cause me never got to Rome. I I'm sorry, Cheryl. I'm a little bit confused. I don't understand what this has to do with genomes testing. Ah, don't, don't watch me, Delji. Me did say my head not good. Huh, but Jari, ki But I mean, that? are you talking about testing? Huh? It just puts me back up. Me not happy with this dippy, doppy Britain. Not at all. <sighs> What's happened, Cheryl? Well, it's my brother Winston. You know, the handsome one. Um. You see him in our garden when we have our little barbecues. Huh. Mm. Well, he worked all his life on the buses. Huh. But he's semi-retired now. Mm. So he went for a little job with the council, mm. you know, just as a driver. Mm. Well, first they asked him for his birth certificate. Huh. Well, he can't find it. Mm. And then they asked him for his passport. Well, now my brother don't have one. And he's shark. Tell mm. Jeet. Huh? My brother can't even remember coming to this country. He loves his country more than he loves his football, which is more than his cricket. Mm. Mm. So then they ask him huh? if he has a biometric card. Biometric card? You ever heard of one? No, you a biometric mm. card. No. And then he received a letter about possible deportation. Oh, no. Deportation. Oh, Pachari. Can't believe it. I mean, it, it shock us to the car. Uh, he not even one for leaving Chapel Town. So what is this, huh? Me can't believe it. What is that all about? <sighs> and then you want to talk to me about this next scientific test? Huh? It all feels too much, lad. I mean, how can our government just throw you out after you've been 47 years in this land? Hmm? After your uncles did die to protect this land? Mm. Mm. After your mother worked all her life in the service for British people? Mm. 47 years. Tell Jeet. Mm. He worked all his life, mm. paid his taxes from 15. He never have no kids of his own. Me vex like a coil snake in me belly. Oh. Mm. It's a good job. Me daughter did step in and help. That's all I'm saying. That's all I'm saying. I love the feeling of the sun on my face and the warm blue skies. I was just thinking the same thing. I'm sorry, Cheryl. I didn't wish to upset you. I was just excited about the possibility of helping Amandeep. Delji, huh? darling, you're a good woman and a good neighbor for true. You could never upset me. Oh. It's just my head not good, yeah. you know? But I'm willing to listen, especially to you.
Cause Lord knows we need some light right now. Not like we the times of the lion and the lamb. With water go on, it's my like the dog and his fleas. I think I see it differently. I suppose for the scientists, this is their life's work. If we look at how many justices have been served through DNA testing. But like Stephen Lawrence. Yeah, uh -huh. like Stephen Lawrence. Then just imagine how much life could be enhanced with genome testing. Scientists aren't interested in racism or have any racist agendas. They are interested in healing and progression. It's looking for those rare and complex illnesses and diseases that can be prevented. And unless you or your doctor need to see it, it will not be personalized. I mean, somebody couldn't break in and start searching for Cheryl Braithwaite's genetic information. They couldn't use it against you as it's coded. And the information stored will only be used by doctors and medical professionals to study, combat and prevent illnesses and diseases which can only give us better information so we can maintain our bodies more healthily. So in that way, it is progressive, like my yoga. Like my iPhone. Huh? Mm. That's all right then. And Sharon, these people are just like your mummy, mm. my Margie, your mother-in-law, all of us really, all who want to ease and eradicate suffering and pain. Cheryl, I've told you before, fear lies. I mean, we have to start trusting at some point. You just said how your new iPhone 7 connects you to the rest of your family in the Caribbean, so why not trust this? Personally, I think genomes testing is a good thing because our doctor will have the correct information to begin with. And if it gives my Amandeep some kind of a diagnosis, then as a family, we could help her more. Anyway, didn't you read about the Cheddar Man? Mm, the Cheddar Man. Huh? <laughs> read about the Cheddar Man. <laughs> Me birth the Cheddar Man. <laughs> I'll always remember that day. Me stepped on the number 12 bus and mm. picked up the metro. Oh, la. It was like the day I read about Harry and Meghan's <laughs> wedding. I mean, the Cheddar Man, first bones found in mm. Britain. And what colour they be? Black. Ah. Uh. And you know, they always tell us that black is not in the Union Jack. I say, black is the Union Jack. <laughs> <laughs> well, uh. we have to believe the world is changing and in some ways for the better. Without advances in genetics and DNA, we would have went to our graves still ignorant of the fact that there is only 1% difference in any of us. And that's just our eyes and skin. But one mistake out of the whole 100% can make us become unwell, mm -hmm. and we could pass that on to our children. Which is why the genome testing is so good, because we get a correct 100% reading of us. I get what you're saying still, you know. Huh? Mm. Because my mother, huh? she never talked to us about menstruation huh. or any family issue, mm. really. And it's only now that I'm in my menopause. <laughs> Do I understand why she carried that fan everywhere? Mm. Oof, and it's, it's not like she didn't know, you know. No. I think it's because she's just too busy. Huh? And in our days, we didn't talk about things like that. Anyway, thinking about it, uh -huh. my niece has got a sickle cell. So mm. my daughter did get herself tested before she had her grandson, mm. grandson, because she maintained prevention is better than the uh -huh. mm. So my heart, my head, glad oh. to know about this information. I mean, we have a right for better man. Uh -huh. huh? Can't wait to tell my daughter something she <laughs> don't already know about. Hmm? So, well, that is progression. Mm. Hmm. Now that's something to talk about. <laughs> anyway, huh? is this genomes information online? 
Yes, is it? there is lots of information online and videos as well. You can also ask your doctor if you qualify for a genomes test as there is a whole range of illnesses that the testing covers. I comment, I'll send you the information now on your phone. Thank you. Hi. Huh? Your CEO, <laughs> Miss Bosty. Well, you're never too old. Mm. Did it send? Mm. What are you doing now? <laughs> I'm on my Facebook. You're not seeing my joke, are you? <laughs> no, I just have to find the right key. <gasps> Look, shit. Fancy you. Hey. Hey, I wonder how many likes this old lady gonna get. <laughs> <gasps> oh, I'm gonna tell everybody I know. Mm -hmm. <gasps> Can't wait to wipe that grin off Sheila's face at <laughs> coffee morning. <laughs> I'm gonna that test. Huh? Book a double appointment. Mm -hmm. I can't wait to tell my daughter. Hey. Huh? Let me know how it goes with Amandi. Mm. Huh? I will. And I'll give a little hug to a little Raj for me. I win. And you tell Margie huh? that she's ever cooking that doll. <laughs> Let me just next time. I will do. Same time next sunny day. And let me know how it goes in your coffee morning, acha? Gracie. Yes, is that you? Oh, you never guess who me bump into this morning, me neighbor. Yeah. Yes, yes. Belgium, yeah. And you'll never guess what I learned. She's telling me all about this genomes testing. No, Gracie. Not norms. Genomes. <laughs> Let me put the kettle on and me tell you all about it. Namaste. Namaste.